UI table view is a bit tricky to get your uh, head around when you start doing iOS development for the first time, but it's relatively straightforward and you usually get the hang of it. UI collection view is a bit trickier than table view because you don't have the default label and detail label and stuff like that, so you have to do some custom stuff to create your first cell. So I thought I'd step you through the basic steps of doing a collection view for beginners. So this is going to be a Swift project. I'm just going to create a dummy project. So in the storyboard, I'm going to go ahead and create my collection view and have it fill this view controller. I'm just going to make sure it sticks to the edges with some auto layout. And then in my view controller, I'm going to hook it up by saying that I conform to the protocols UI collection view data source and also UI collection view delegate. I'm going to hook it up to some dummy data. Hello there, world. For collection views, you only need to implement two methods a number of items in section. I'm going to return the number of items I have in the dummy data. As well as cell for item at index path. So this is very similar to how you do uh, table views. Now let's type it out as if it had been a table view. We're going to do let cell equals collection view dot dq reusable cell with reuse identifier. I'm going to say my cell which is just a random string and I'll show you where to put that into the storyboard and I send in the index path. And later we're going to return the cell when we're done configuring it. So in table view you would say cell dot text label dot text equals uh, data index path dot item. But a UI collection view cell doesn't have a text label so we need to set that up. And we did so previously but we need to hook it up properly. So my screen is a tiny bit too small for this, but let's see if we can do this. So to create a text label here, we're going to have to pull one in ourselves into our cell, cell. So this little box here is called a prototype cell, and all your cells are going to look like it. You can have multiple prototypes if you want. I'm going to make this white, so we have a white text label right here. Alright, so we had the reuse identifier in my cell over here. So we're going to reuse that for this cell over here. So in the fourth inspector, I select the cell and type my cell. However, I can't just drag the label over over here and create an outlet for it because there will be many cells and this is just one view controller so we need to hook it up multiple times so in order to do that we have to create a custom class for our cell so we can do that in the same file you can create your own uh, file if you want to I'm going to call it my cell and it inherits your collection view cell and uh, then we're also going to have to say that this prototype cell that we're creating has this class. So in the third inspector, we select our cell and we type in class my cell. And note that my cell here and my cell with the space here, they're two different things. You can have multiple prototypes with the same class, but different UI in them. So therefore, these are two different strings. And uh, this is the name of the class. And on the fourth tab, this is the reuse identifier. They can be the same if you want to, but they are different, just so you know. 
So now that we have this, we can just drag here and create an outlet. We're going to call it um, my label. It's going to be a UI label and we connect it. And now the final step, in order for our code here to know that our cells in this collection view are actually my cells, we type as, and with the latest version of Swift, that's an exclamation mark after it, as my cell. And there we go. It doesn't have a text label, but it has a my label, because that's what we defined here. Uh, we can pull in as much, many UI elements here as we want. We can make this a nice pink, and we can say that this is a pink label, and we can connect tons of UI here if you want. Uh, but I'm not going to use that one now. Pink, there we go. All right. Um, now this will build and run successfully, and we hooked our view controller up to a new custom cell. So let's start up the simulator. And it didn't work. I missed one step. This collection view doesn't know where to get its data. After I created the collection view, I need to hook it up to the view controller. So I control click on the collection view, and in data source, I can drag this to my view controller, and again for the data source. Now the collection view knows where to get its data. So I run it again. And there we go. Hello there, world. Three labels. Thanks.